You know, one of the greatest gifts of having been a professional athlete is the opportunity to spread the knowledge and wisdom that I gained over my professional career. And having the opportunity to spread that wisdom with young players. You know, I'm gonna speak just to athletes right now. Although this mindset goes, I think, across the board. But what I would say to a lot of young athletes is try to find yourself a mentor. Someone who is possibly playing at the highest level in your sport. And then read up on them. I mean, it's really easy nowadays. You can just Google someone and get a pretty good idea of where they came from. And what you'll find is a, a lot of the great athletes, a lot of the guys that you really, really like their game and and you want to you know, kind of kind of have your game be like theirs. Because there's always someone that you're going to like. I mean, for me, it was Daryl Strawberry when I was in the minor leagues with the Braves. You know, Straw was a right fielder, left-handed, uh, had a sweet swing. And when I was in the minor leagues, that was my guy. That was my guy. And I remember the first time I met Straw. I, I just couldn't believe it. You know, I was just in awe looking at Straw. And even today, after all these years when I talked to Straw, I think back to those early days when I first met him and how cool he was to me and how he wanted to help me. And I never forgot it. And I was fortunate coming up with the Braves to have some tremendous, some tremendous mentors like Willie Stargell, Ralph Gar, Hank Aaron, Clarence Jones. They really, really did a great job of putting their knowledge into me as a young player. And one of the things Willie Stargell said to me, and I'll never forget it. You know, Stargell told me, as I'm giving you this information, I want you to continue to spread this information to the guys that are coming behind you. Let's keep it going. Keep the information going. And I took that to heart. I really took that to heart. And like I said, one of, one of the biggest blessings right now is being able to meet a lot of young athletes. And a lot of athletes that have met me, they know. They know it. And a lot of my son's friends that have, because both of my boys were athletes. So, of course, their teammates come to the house and they know Mr. Justice is going to be performing. I'm going to give a sermon because it's just in me to try to give as much wisdom and knowledge to, to young guys because I want everyone. I, if I had it my way, I would want every young guy to experience winning a championship because there is absolutely nothing like winning a championship. To know where you start from at the beginning of the season, a team of guys with one goal, the ups and downs of a season, and to be the last man standing on the field uh, on the last out, like in 95 with the Braves when we finally won a World Series, bringing a championship to, to Atlanta, the first one. That was a feeling that it is very hard to to, to really be able to speak it uh, so that you could truly understand what that feeling feels like. And those of you that have won championships, you all understand what I'm saying. But let me get back to Straw. Because of the way Straw took time to, to spend with me to, to spread some knowledge, that that did make me want to also be that type of player once I got to the big leagues. And still today, uh, I want to be the guy who, if I have an opportunity to share some wisdom with young athletes. So one thing I would say to the young athletes is anytime you see someone like me uh, in your sport, whatever sport, it doesn't really even have to be in your sport because the professional mindset, and I'll get into that in another video, the professional mindset is across all the sports. I can give the same information to a football player or a soccer player. The mentality is still the same. But one thing Straw told me my rookie year, and I, I will share this with you, uh, is when I first came to the big leagues in 1989, 
it was as if I didn't expect to be called up. Lonnie Smith had gotten hurt and the Braves called me up. And physically, I probably was ready, but mentally, because it happened so quickly, I really wasn't mentally ready. I wasn't mentally ready for the big leagues. Braves called me up. I was up for two weeks. And it was as if they gave a fan a uniform. I was on the field looking at those other guys like, I cannot believe that that's Ozzie Smith. Like, I can't believe that I'm looking at Vince Coleman. Like, I remember playing, playing them, the Cardinals, and just being in awe of the guys. These are guys I was just watching on Sports Center, and now I'm in the big leagues. I'm serious. It was like, I was like a, ba it was like Bambi. I was like, I was just like wide eyed and just like a fan. And my game showed it. I went one for 20 the first time I got called up in 1989. And I just remember when the Braves sent me down and I was on my way back to Richmond in Virginia. And we had a pretty good team in AAA that year. I remember telling myself if I ever get an opportunity to go back to the big leagues, I'm gonna go with a whole different mentality. I'm gonna go with a dog mentality. I'm going to go with a serious, I'm going to be so focused, laser focused, and I'm going to look at every pitcher and every team as, as the enemy. And the Braves gave me another opportunity to come to the big leagues. Well, when we went back to AAA in 1989, we win the Governor's Cup. We win the AAA championship, and the Braves bring us all back. Me, Ronnie Gant, Mark Lemke, and we go back to the big leagues. And when I go back, I have a whole different attitude. I get my first major league home run off Mike Scott, finish out those couple of weeks that we were in the big leagues. And when I went into that off season, I knew what type of mentality I needed to have. So by because I only played a very, very short period of time in 1989, 1990, I still was considered a rookie. And I remember running into Strawberry, and Straw told me this. He said, DJ, every time you step on this field, you tell yourself, you are the baddest mother. You understand what I'm saying? You are the baddest mother. I'm gonna say mother sucker, but you know what he said. He told me, tell yourself you're the baddest mother sucker out here on this field. Every time you step on the field. Now mind you, I am a rookie. I see all the all-stars out on this field. But by him telling me that, that also shifted my mentality. I have to see myself as being like those guys, if not better. I gotta change my mentality. I gotta change the way I look at myself. See, a lot of times we don't have the right mentality when we get out and when it's time to show up and do what you gotta do, our mind game is not correct. But when Daryl Strawberry told me that, and that is something I share a lot with a lot of young players, I started walking like I was the baddest man on the field. Got my chest out, game face. I'm out here trying to get it, trying to help us win. So what I would say to a lot of young players is every time you step on that field, I want you to tell yourself that you the baddest mother sucker out here. I don't care who else is on the field. Tell yourself that and say it every single day and watch how it changes your mentality and the way you approach your sport.